Welcome to this broadcast of Seabed Media. I have a guest. And you're? Alex. You're Alex, okay. I'm Alex. And we're talking about what? We're talking about your communication. How, com how do we communicate about projects, mm -hmm. start projects and... Uh, yeah. So about Seabed Media, how we use our tools to communicate, to organize ourselves with this yeah. stuff. So what's the... Um, Alex is actually a very good example for us because he just started working for us a couple of weeks ago, right? Yeah. And um, from he, my home office, yeah, from your home office, he's a freelancing for us, so uh, not very much into CBET Media from the very start, and so we are still in kind of an onboarding phase, right? Yeah, so what's your questions? My questions are um, you, you have several tools, mm -hmm. and I'm not sure where I have to post which information, yeah. Um, actually, as we are uh, one of the world's biggest Atlassian partner, we use a lot of Atlassian tools. And um, when you ask where can I post information, there's several answers to that. Like the, the most common answer is I have a piece of information and I want to document that for others to be able to see somewhere. And um, actually, we've, we've drawn something from a, um, a German video we, we had about that. And so we can use this already. Um, the the core of our documentation, like where all our knowledge lives, is Confluence, which is a wiki. In a lot of very big companies are our customers, and they think, oh, wikis are a small thing. So um, with um, a big medical company, healthcare company, B. Braun, they use this Confluence software for 55,000 people. So it's more of an intranet for them. It's like everyone lives in this confluence uh, space. And if you are not using any collaborative solution today, it may be um, kind of the, the Microsoft Word um, uh, that you are seeing today. Like if you look at your emails that you get from customers or that customers send each other internally, they all often attach documents with text, like Word documents. Yeah, so, so if you have a meeting and you are writing down and documentation of the meetings, you get a word file. Yeah, exactly. And, and, and this, this and protocol of this meeting should never be a word page, a word document. So if you see any word document in your email and no customer has been copied, it's always a fault, no matter in which company you're working. And at Civic Media, we're very um, eagerly trying to use this conference thing to put all the text, everything that is um, letters, pictures, uh, things that we want to find later um, uh, in, in there. Like if, if we go even further back in history, I'd say like the files that you have, all the, the big folders with yeah. all the paper inside, that's Confluence. Okay. So everything that you have that could be printed on the paper, you put it in Confluence. Yeah. But do you send emails? Yes, we do send emails. Actually, in this picture, email has a crown as um, king. yeah, it's kind of the king of the tools. Um, it's so easy, it's so omnipresent that everyone uses email, both at Seabed Media and at our customers. And when we talk to customers, a lot of communication is email also. So um, it's not that you try to crush email, but um, what you want to have is you want to take out the good of email and put the bad things that you feel about emails into systems where it can be something good. Actually, um, if, you, if you decipher the, the pain of email, um, in my opinion, there's two ways. Um, one is this document thing, like someone sends you a file. If not a customer is copied, it's always a fault. It should be a wiki page, it should be your internet, it yep. should be a link, it should always be a link, not a file. Um, uh, hold on in 99% of the cases. And um, then the next thing is this email, Alex, or Alex, could you do this and that? And this is the, the uh, second biggest. Is gone. Yeah, uh, <laughs> one thing is no traceability at all. Like I, you and I, we know that I once asked you via email, could you do that? And I may be, in a situation where I could impose some threats or bad feelings on your side because you didn't do. But there's so much things that 
don't happen in a in a company that it's just like daily business that yeah. things don't happen. So if you get an email and there's a task inside, it's either the guy has no time, which could be an excuse. Um, he's lazy, or he just doesn't know better. And that's that's where we use Jira a lot. A lot of other people um, use a another office document or page, which is Excel. Like uh, Microsoft Excel is uh, in a lot of um, common style um, projects just a list of to dos that people should do, should do. And basically, Jira is a team task management system where all the uh, to dos can live. Actually, it's it's a tool for software development also. So there's a lot of uh, connections to a complete software application lifecycle management. But let's say as we we two work together to create videos. Mm. So let's keep out all the tech stuff and yep. just focus on what we call management, like all the stuff that is not about software creation, that only one guy needs to do something and the other women needs to do something else and that's what lives in Jira. Okay, so here's information and here are the tasks. Exactly, so yeah. This is uh, where we chat. Where yeah, uh, about, hip uh, chat is kind of the, if, if you want to, to express that evilly or in an evil way, I would say it's kind of the death of in-person talk, um, which is which is not the case actually. But, but email is the same. Yeah, e email is uh, email may be the same. Um, uh, HipChat is um, more of let's let's get a better better understanding. Actually, I think most people nowadays know what WhatsApp is. Uh, and if you don't, um, Facebook bought them for, I think, 19 billion uh, this year, actually. So WhatsApp is an instant messaging uh, tool that helps people to stay in contact in real time. Like, oh, I didn't catch the bus. I'll, I'm going to be late for yeah. five minutes. That's kind of the, the WhatsApp message uh, yeah. standard. It's like, um, yeah, it's like SMS. Yeah, yeah, it, it, like a text. Yeah, yeah, like, text a, like a text. And... Um, uh, it's a very common thing that uh, lives in other... Facebook has a Facebook Messenger app and there's a line thing and I think Microsoft has a... or this is a Microsoft tool. And so th there are other things, Telegram, Threema, whatever. Basically, HipChat is WhatsApp for the enterprise. Like if you want to have WhatsApp and you want to control the whole environment, you want to use a HipChat. And one um, difference is... Um you can, so as I saw it, can you put it on the... Yeah, screen? absolutely. Well, one difference is uh, you can join some groups and um, you don't have to know them, you don't have to be invited. Yeah, um, yes. correct. So uh, this is HipChat actually. And um, these are uh, like rooms that we have. And I can go into a certain room to find out what people say there. So let's look at this. Actually, as we're, we're in Germany here, so people um, say it's gonna we're gonna have pizza and I can go to a certain page and it, it's probably gonna be a wiki page yeah absolutely it's a wiki page and we have an hour left to to say what we want to eat and uh, uh, so um, actually HipChat is way more than what WhatsApp is HipChat is also rooms HipChat is also what uh, I'd say you, you, you call it Skype, like um, video calls, co audio calls, um, screen sharing, show me what is on your screen so that yeah. I can help you. So this is all what HipChat is. Um, actually, this is a SaaS solution today, and Atlassian is working on a behind the firewall so that you can install it in your own environment okay. and run it there. And these are already behind the firewall. Yeah, you can install these, and it, actually those are, in my opinion, leading the pack. Like, if you're looking for an enterprise-ready wiki, a collaboration tool for teams of more than 10 people, Confluence simply rocks. It's, okay, uh, because it's not as ugly as uh, Wikipedia. Uh, it's not as, as ugly as Wikipedia. Actually, I think Wikipedia also rocks, but Wikipedia is not for enterprises. Uh, Wikipedia is a, is a website for the whole 
humanity, yeah, uh, but you only, could say. But to, only nerds can use it. Yeah, they, they, they're getting better. <laughs> Actually, Confluence has a much better rich text editor, so it's way easier for people like you and me who can't uh, uh, develop and program yeah. uh, code um, uh, to use it. But still, I, I wouldn't bash Wikipedia. What I would rather bash is Microsoft Word, uh, <laughs> Microsoft SharePoint, um, all those wannabe uh, collaboration tools that actually um, are, in a lot of cases, they are kind of already there. So if you're in a very big company, people simply have this SharePoint around. So they kind of have to use it. And mm -hmm. still yeah. they don't. And a lot of people don't want to. And, and um, there is this usability problem that it's complex that they don't know how. And then there's also features. Like, I want this to be easy. I want just to upload this word file and it, make it a wiki page or whatever. So um, uh, Jira and Confluence are actually very well established software systems for exactly this purpose. OK. So um, do you have another color? Absolutely. Um, or posters? Uh, uh, no, we don't. No. <laughs> Absolutely was a lie. It was <laughs> so a lie. Yeah. OK. I, I could color it for you if you want. OK, so, no, so um, this is uh, yeah, chat. This is documents, and this mm -hmm. is tasks. Yeah, exactly. So um, I, I would say this is knowledge, because documents um, gives the impression of a kind of uh, a package of a file but this is this is old school like Microsoft Word was yesterday like today you don't have you have a knit a knit of knowledge with links like if, if it grows bigger you can just divide it into two, two halves and then these are not actually documents I, I would say it's, yeah, it's okay uh, knowledge it can grow old it can be redundant all this stuff yeah instant messaging chat um, okay, that, that's what we have here. This is tasks. Yeah, and actually, yeah, this is tasks. And actually, this is also transparency. While you, you could say all of this is transparency, because here you can see the chatter that goes on. Here you can see all the, the things that have been documented that go on. And this is where you can see uh, what's done um, and what's yes. still open. Okay. So next video is uh, about Confluence. Yeah, how exactly. So we're, we're going to talk uh, more about Confluence and how um, this goes. How you are using it. Because yeah. I think chat is easy. You you get some ideas. And here is, uh, gets interesting here and um, here. Yeah, OK. Awesome. Okay.